they're equal to each other for any values of their variables. For example, x plus 3 and 3 plus x are equivalent. It means they're the same. You can use the properties of operation to write equivalent expressions. So properties of addition. We have our commutative property. So that is the order of terms change and the sum stays the same. So 12 plus a is the same as a plus 12. Now our associative property of addition, that's when you group term changes and the sum stays the same. So in this one we have 5 plus and then they grouped a plus b. But over here we take the 5 plus the 8 and then plus the b. So this b is out and I'm combining the like terms. The 5 and the 8 are like terms, so I'm combining those. The identity of property of addition, that's the sum of 0 and any number that is the number. So 0 plus c is c. Then we have our properties of multiplication, which are similar. Our commutative property of multiplication is similar to the other one, where the order of the factors changes, but the product stays the same. So that's b times 9, or 9 times b. So they're the same on both sides. The associative property of multiplication is very similar to what we had before in the addition one. When the grouping of factors changes, the product stays the same. So I have 11 times 3 times e with the parentheses, and all they did was they combined the like terms, the 11 and the 3 on this side, and then they put the times e on the outside. The identity pr property of multiplication is the product of 1 and any number that is the same. So in addition, it was a 0, but in multiplication it's a 1, because 1 times any number is itself. Let's unlock the problem. Nelson ran 2 miles, 3 laps, and 5 times. The expression 2 plus 3L plus 5 represents the total distance in miles that Nelson ran, where L is the length in miles of 1 lap. Write the equivalent expression with only 2 terms. So we're going to rewrite the expression 2 plus 3L plus 5 with only two terms. So in order to do that, we're going to, the like terms are 2 and 5, right? So 2 and 5. So if we use the commutative property to reorder the terms, um, then we can use the associative property to regroup the terms, and then we're going to add within the parentheses. Okay, so if we take the 3L, we combine our like terms 2 and 5. 2 plus 5 is 7, so then we get 3L plus 7, and that is going to be our final answer on that one. Distributive property. Multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each term by the number and then adding the product. So for example, we have 5 times, and then with parentheses, g plus 9, parentheses. It's the same thing as saying 5 times g and 5 times 9. So 5 times g plus 5 times 9. The distributive property can also be used for multiplication and subtraction. For example, 2 times, and then parentheses, 10 minus h is the same thing as saying 2 times 10, and 2 times h, and subtracting the two. So we do 2 times 10, 2 times h, and then we subtract them in the middle. So example 1, use the properties of operation to write an expression equivalent to 5a plus 8a minus 16 by combining like terms, just like we did yesterday. So use the commutative property of multiplication to rewrite the like terms 5a and 8a. So 5a plus 8a minus 16. So we're going to have a times 5 and a times 8 minus 16. So we combine those. We get a plus 5 plus 8 minus 16. Then 5 plus 8 is 13. So now we get a times 13 minus 16 and 13a minus 16. So the expression 13a minus 16 is the equivalent or is equal to 5a plus 8a minus 16. Alright, example 2. Use the distributive property to write an equivalent expression. So if we have 6, and then we have our little parentheses, y plus 7, so remember we're going to do 6 times y, 6 plus 7, and we're going to add the two terms. So if we use the descriptive property, we've got 6 times y and 6 times 7, and we're adding them. So multiply within the parentheses. So um, we've got 7 times 6, 42, so the expression is 6y plus 42. Now we've got 12a plus 8b, so if we find the greatest common factor between the two, 12 and 8, the greatest common factor is 4, and then we're going to write the first term, 12a, as the product of the greatest common factor of another one, so that's 4 times 3a, right? So then we write the second term, 8b, as the product of gfc and the other factors, so 4 times 2b. And then we're going to use the distributive property again, 
right? So 4 times 3a plus 2b. So the expression is going to be 4 parentheses 3a plus 2b. And I kind of went really fast on that one. But I want you to kind of go back and relook at that problem as you're going through because I think it will help you if you just pause the video right now and try and see where the numbers are going and why they're going there. I think it's going to be really helpful. All right, let's look at a couple of things. So we have 3r plus or minus 1.5r. So these are like terms. So 3.7 minus 1.5, 7 from 5 is 2 from my decimal, 3 from 1 is 2. So I'm going to get 2.2r. So let's look at the next one. So first I'm going to combine my like terms, 20a and 16a. So 20a and 16a, I'm adding them. So 0 and 6 is 6, 2 and 1 is 3, so I get 36a plus the 18. Okay, on the next one again I'm going to combine like terms. So I have my 7s and my 10s, and I have 18 and 12t. So 7 plus 10 is 17s plus, and then I have 8t's and I have 12t's, so that's going to be 20t's. So the answer is 17s plus 20t's. So the rest you're going to do on your own or with a partner, or if you need me, I'm going to be at the back taking care of it. All right, good luck.